Take it away. Thank you for introduction. So let me talk about the uh, parallel simulation on the Kishitea by using GPUs. So I am Jun Doi from IBM Quantum, IBM Research Tokyo. So the uh, Kishitea Air is the one of the component of the open source plat qu quantum computing platform Kishit. And uh, Kishitea Air is the uh, quantum circuit simulator that's run on the classical computers. And uh, Kishitea Air supports various types of simulation method uh, here. Uh, state vector simulation and the unitary and density matrix and stabilizer and the MPS. So usually uh, we are using st state vector simulator that is the standard uh, simulation method. And uh, this type st stabilizer and the MPS uh, is used for the uh, large scale sim uh, circuit simulation, but uh, the quantum circuit it's very limited for use for these uh, simulators. And uh, Chistit Air also support various uh, types of noise models uh, that behaves the uh, actual quantum uh, computers. So now uh, I'd like to uh, talk about the GPU support for the Chistit Air. So currently uh, Chistit Air support these three types of uh, simulation methods, state vector and unitary and density matrix. And now we are planning to uh, add GPU support for the stabilizer simulator. And also uh, we are now uh, developing a tensor network uh, simulator. Uh, that, that is the en enhanced uh, simulator for the MPS simulator. So here, uh, I'd like to show the performance of the uh, GP acceleration on the state vector simulator on Kishit Air. So blue line shows the uh, simulation time of the CPU simulation, and the green line shows the uh, simulation time of the uh, by using the GPU. So we are using the quantum volume uh, that is the random uh, quantum circuit, and uh, uh, we, we are learning on this by using the NVIDIA's uh, Tesla V100 GPUs. So we have a 16 gigabyte of memory on V100, so we can uh, simulate up to 29 qubits by using single GPU here. And by using the six GPUs, we enhance the number of the qubits to the 32 qubits. And also we can store the state of the uh, uh, quantum circuit on the six GPUs, and also we can put it on the CPU. So by using uh, these memories, we can uh, simulate up to 35 qubits. Uh, on this machine, we have uh, 512 gigabytes, so we can simulate this. And by using the GPU acceleration, we can speed up about 10 times from the CPU simulation like this. So let me introduce how to install the uh, GPU's support for the Kishit Air in this chart. So at first, uh, installing the uh, Kishit itself by using the pip install Kishit. And after that, uh, we have to uninstall the uh, existing Kishit Air. Uh, that, that is the Kishit Air for the uh, CPUs. So pip uninstall Kishit Air. And finally, uh, we install the separate binary for the GPU supported Kishit Air by using the pip install Kishit Air GPU like this. So you, you can now uh, learn the GPU support Kishit Air. So to run the uh, Chistit Air with the GPU support, uh, in the uh, script, uh, you just add this option, device equals GPU. So then uh, the simulation goes to the GPU. So this is the simple example to run the quantum volume circuit 
by using the state vector method and the GPU. So it's very simple. So let me uh, example. Uh, uh, let, let let me explain about the uh, implementation of the parallel quantum circuit simulation in KCTR. To simulate a large number of qubits, uh, quantum states are distributed into multiple GPUs or a multiple process on the uh, cluster by using the MPI. So to do that. Uh, we also divide, it, divide the uh, states into the smaller chunk. And the uh, data exchange itself is done by this small chunk to save the memory space, because uh, we have to refer the uh, states on the different uh, distributed memory to calculate the simulation. So if we do not divide uh, the state uh, by chunk, we have to prepare the large buffer to uh, receive the uh, state from the different uh, distributed memory space. But by dividing into this small chunk, we only have to prepare the receiving buffer for one chunk, so we can save the memory usage by using this technique. And also, we optimize the uh, uh, data exchange by using the transpiling technique before running the actual simulation. So this is the input uh, quantum circuit. And uh, we divide the state into the chunk. So if the... Uh, gate is inside the chunk. Uh, we do not have to transfer data between chunks. But if the uh, some of the gates are on the uh, out of the chunk, so NC is the chunk size. And uh, if the uh, gate operation is on the qubit larger than NC, uh, we have to uh, transfer data between chunks. So this will be the bottleneck to calculate the gate on the a large qubit number. So before uh, learning the uh, actual simulation, uh, we insert the swap gate to put all the uh, gates on the larger number of qubits into the chunks like this. So by Using this transpiler, we do not have to uh, exchange the data between chunks for calculating these uh, gates, but only a uh, data transfer is needed to need it for inserted swap gates like this. So we can decrease the total uh, data exchange and uh, we can optimize the uh, performance. So this is the another example to use the multiple uh, GPUs if you have uh, on the system. So this is also very simple, uh, just adding the blotting qubits option here. So this shows the chunk size is 20 qubits. So in, in this uh, example, uh, that's number of qubits of the circuit is 25. So the if the gate is on the uh, 21 qubit to 24 qubits, so these gates are uh, transpired into the chunks under the, 20, uh, under the 20s. So by adding this one, uh, we can use uh, multiple GPUs. Also, this example shows how we use the uh, multiple nodes on the cluster by using the MPI. But uh, unfortunately, uh, there is no binary distribution for the uh, MPI support. So please build from the source code if you want to uh, uh, use MPI. And the 
this example is also simple. And uh, this blocking qubits option is as similar to the GPUs, multi GPUs case. And uh, by using the MPI, uh, the result is returned to all the uh, processes. But uh, by querying, qu querying the metadata in the result, you can know uh, which uh, MPI rank you are running on. So to run the uh, simulator on the multiple node, uh, just uh, passing this uh, Python code to the MPI run command. So this is the uh, performance of the multi node simulation. So uh, we also using the NVIDIA's Tesla V100 on the uh, power system AC922 system. So we are using one node to the eight nodes here. And we, we are also using the quantum volume uh, circuit to uh, test this one. And uh, sorry, uh, left-hand side uh, graph shows the strong scaling and the uh, uh, right-hand side graph shows the weak scaling. So the strong, so strong scaling shows the fixed qubit circuit to the uh, full, full problem. So in this case, uh, the performance of the two node is not good compared to the one node because of the uh, MPI's transfer, data transfer overhead. But uh, by increasing the number of the node, the uh, simulation time decreases like this. And for the uh, weak scaling, uh, ideally, uh, the graph shows the horizontally, but uh, for the large uh, circuit simulation, uh, the performance is not so good, but uh, it is important that uh, we can simulate the large number of qubits by using the uh, some of the nodes on the clusters. So QCT also supports the short level parallelization using the multiple GPUs. So uh, the short multi -shot, uh, shot simulation is used for the circuit with in intermediate measurements or the simulating the noise models. So if uh, the simula simulation has uh, some of the multiple shots here, the QCT air uh, automatically distribute these shot into the multiple GPUs if uh, the system has multiple GPUs like this. But uh, most of the uh, cases for the uh, multiple shot simulation, the number of shots of the uh, circuit is very small. In that case, uh, the overhead of the GPU execution is the bottleneck like this. So in this case, the uh, calculation time on the GPU is very small, but the overhead is the dominant for the uh, performance. So it is not good. And uh, if the uh, problem size is larger, so in this case, the simulation time itself is larger than the overhead, so we can ignore the uh, overhead. So uh, we implement uh, by using the uh, multi shot batch exe exe execution technique on GPU. So, this is the example for the noise simulation. So, uh, some of the shot here, and the uh, original uh, gate is uh, a blue box, and the uh, noise is red one. Red, red, red box shows the power noise here. So, in, so we uh, insert the ID gate if we do not have a noise here to synchronize the uh, execution of the uh, original gates. So we, by synchronizing uh, the short execution like this, and uh, we calculate in the single, single GPU kernel in the vertical uh, box here. 
so we can uh, decrease the uh, GPU overhead. So for the uh, class class noise model, uh, originally the class noise mo class operator is inserted uh, to the uh, circuit here, so we can uh, synchronize to execute in a single uh, GPU kernel. So this is the uh, performance uh, evaluation of the uh, batch shot batch to multi shot. Uh, optimization. So blue, blue line shows the CPU execution and the original implementation shows the orange line here by GPU. And uh, the speed up is not so large here because of the uh, large GPU, large GPUs overhead. But by using the uh, batch shot execution, uh, we, we can uh, increase the uh, performance a lot. And for the comparison, uh, we also plot the uh, density matrix. So by using the density matrix simulator, uh, we can simulate the noise model only by one, one shot. So it is very fast, but uh, the, it takes much uh, memory and uh, has a, a large computation uh, overhead, so the performance will be not good than the state vector simulator for the large number of qubits. So uh, we also support the quantum API that is provided by NVIDIA. So, but uh, currently uh, we we do not have a binary distribution for quantum support for QCT air. So please build from the source code uh, if you want to use the quantum support. So it, it is also simple to uh, enable the uh, this support by using the quantum state back enable equal to option in, in the uh, runtime. So this is the performance comparison. Uh, and the green, green line shows the performance of the uh, cool state back support. And the uh, orange line shows the original QCTS uh, GPUs implementation. So for the uh, large number of qubits, uh, cool state back support uh, accelerate uh, about twice as the uh, original one. So if you want to use the uh, large number of qubits, so please try this option. So let, let me summarize my talk. Uh, so uh, I introduced the uh, parallelization on the Christit air. And uh, we, so on the future plan, uh, we are uh, now developing the TensorNet based simulation by using the Q TensorNet. It, this is the uh, also the component of the Cook Quantum uh, SDK from the NVIDIA. And also we are planning to implement stabilizer simulation by using the GPU support. Thank you. Thank you, June, for uh, the great talk. Are there questions for June? Yeah, we're